Welcome back to Slang Diary. Let's jump right in. Starting with trolleyed. Is it a British slang term for being very drunk or a device to carry groceries? A British slang term for being very drunk. So, after a night of a little too much fun, someone might say they got trolleyed. Now, snog. Is it a deep kiss, typically open-mouthed, or a type of dessert? A deep kiss, typically open-mouthed. When someone's talking about their romantic escapades, they might mention a snog. Up next, quick buck. Does it refer to earning money easily and rapidly, or a fast-moving male deer? Earning money easily and rapidly. So, if you've got a scheme to earn a little money on the side, you might be looking to make a quick buck. Fly pie. Does it mean a type of dessert or an unclean or untidy person? An unclean or untidy person. So if someone is particularly untidy, you might say, clean up your act. You're a real fly pie. Dope. Does it mean cool or awesome or silly or foolish? Cool or awesome. So if you're praising something that you find really cool, you might say, that's dope. Bonkers. Does it mean crazy or mad, or tired or exhausted? Crazy or mad. So if something's crazy or incredibly surprising, you could say, this party is absolutely bonkers. Chock A block. Does it mean extremely full or crowded, or extremely empty or deserted? Extremely full or crowded. So if a place is extremely crowded or busy, you might say, the market is choco block today. Take several seats. Does it mean to relax, or to humble oneself or stop being arrogant? To humble oneself or stop being arrogant. So if someone needs to calm down and stop acting superior, you might say, you need to take several seats. Bop. Does it mean a catchy song, or a quick trip? A catchy song. So if you're talking about a song that you find really catchy, you might say, that's a real bop. Hits different. Does it mean something that has a special impact, or an unusual type of music? Something that has a special impact. So if something feels unusually good or impactful, you could say, this song hits different. Undies. Does it mean underwear, or undone tasks? Underwear. So if you're referring to underwear in a casual or humorous way, you might say, time to put on my undies. Taking the piss. Does it mean drinking a lot of beverages, or mocking someone or being sarcastic? Mocking someone or being sarcastic. So if someone is making fun of another or not taking things seriously, you might say, are you taking the piss out of me? Sot. Does it mean a piece of turf, or an expression of irritation or disdain? An expression of irritation or disdain. So if you're annoyed or want someone to go away, you might say, oh, sod off. Gutted. Does it mean extremely disappointed, or emptied out? Extremely disappointed. So if you're expressing deep disappointment, you could say, I was absolutely gutted when my team lost. Flock. Does it mean to sell something, or to whip or beat? To sell something. In British slang, if you're talking about selling an item, especially quickly or cheaply, you might say, I'm going to flog my old bicycle. Freebie. Does it mean something given without charge, or a type of dance? Something given without charge. So, when you get an extra item at no cost, maybe at a store or event, you might say, they gave me a freebie. Go off. Does it mean to explode, or to passionately rant or express oneself? To passionately rant or express oneself. So if someone is energetically expressing their feelings or opinions, you might exclaim, wow, she really went off. Miffed. Does it mean slightly annoyed, or very excited? Slightly annoyed. So if something doesn't go your way and you're a bit upset, you could say, I'm a bit miffed about that. Skyver. Does it mean a tool to thin leather, or someone who avoids work or responsibility? Someone who avoids work or responsibility. If someone is known to often dodge the duties, you might say, 
he's always been a bit of a skiver. How did you do this time? Don't forget to comment your score below.